we believe that the Son of Man will sit in judgment over the nations when the kingdom comes, and that he will ask them how they have treated Israel and the Jewish people. That's what we believe, judgment upon the nations. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We live in the exciting days that the Jews are returning to the land and that Israel has its own capital, Jerusalem, and that one day the glory of the Lord will come to Jerusalem, that one day Jesus, the resurrected one, will come to Jerusalem. And that's why we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, uh, like Psalm 122, verse 6 till 9 says, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem and praying for the peace of Jerusalem means praying for the coming of the Prince of Peace to Jerusalem because only then there will be peace in the Middle East and only then there will be peace on earth. But what will Jesus do uh, when he comes in glory? He was resurrected, and that's what the Jews believed, that he would bring in the bodily resurrection of the righteous dead, but then he would bring judgment upon the nations. He will do the selection. You read it in Matthew 25, verse 31, when the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit on his throne in heavenly glory, Jerusalem, the city of the great king, and all the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, ye who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. But then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Now, who's going left, who's going right? He says, whatever you have done to one of the least of these brothers of mine, you've done it to me. You can almost see him point his finger to all these Jewish people around him. He's talking to them. And then he says, you nations, whatever you have done to one of the least of these brothers of mine, these poor Jews, when they were among you, when they were thirsty, when they were hunted down, when they were in concentration camps, how did you treat the Jewish people, O, o nations of the world? How did you vote in the United Nations when all the time these anti-Israel uh, resolutions are on the table. Were you for them? Were you against them? Did you abstain from votes? But abstaining from votes often is that you agree, but for certain reasons, for political reasons, you don't dare to say so. And you see in the votes of the United Nations how the whole world, practically the whole world, again and again and again and again is blaming Israel for all the bad things that are happening in this world. God will one day, by mouth of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, will ask the nations, how did you behave when I was bringing my Jewish people into my promised land, into Israel, into my city of Jerusalem, were you for it? Were you against it? Or did you abstain from vote? Because whatever you've done for the least of these brothers of mine throughout the ages, when the Jews were dispersed in the world, did you try to help them? Did you love them? Did you try to protect them against the hatred? Then you will enter into that beautiful kingdom. Your nation will enter into that beautiful kingdom 
of peace and righteousness that will cover the world. One day I visited practically all the concentration camps uh, of Nazi Germany in Germany and in Poland. And one day we visited, my wife and I, the camp of Majdanek and it's all there. The railway stations, the railway tracks ending uh, outside of the camp. Uh, the cattle wagons drove in. Uh, the German officers, the SS, uh, the doctors uh, were there. The Jews were driven out of the cattle wagons. They stood on the ramp on the platform of the, of the trains. And then the Germans said, the Nazis, left, 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 right, right, left, 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 right. Left meaning to the camp, to the gas chambers, to these horrifying so-called medical experiments. Gas, destruction, and the bodies into the flames of fire. Right means you will live a little bit longer. I can use you for slave laborers in the factories around the camp, but ultimately you will all go left to your death and destruction. Selection takes place. One day the Son of Man will do the selection and he will say to the nations, left, 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 right, right, right. Let's repent also as a nation, as a people, for our wrongdoings over the centuries with regard to the Jewish people. Maybe, just as in the case of Sodom and Gomorrah, there is a righteous remnant that could even save your nation from going left, but will cause your nation to go right into the kingdom of peace and righteousness under the leadership of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords.